When you walk in front of me, I shall always have your back. When you walk behind me, I shall always be willing to lay down my life for you. And so long as you walk beside me, I shall always call you my brother. This is an anonymous quote from a law enforcement officer. My name is Cherie Castellano, and I'm the proud wife of Sergeant Mark Castellano at the Morris County Prosecutor's Office. I'm also the director of Cop to Cop for the last 20 plus years, and I've dedicated my career to supporting officers as I am eternally grateful for your service to us. I wanna recognize the valor of the Fairfield Police Department and the way they live the concept of being their brother's keeper. During a critical incident amidst the COVID-19 emergency, the Fairfield Police Department Resilience Program Officer called cop to cop because he recognized his brother and sister officers were in distress. One word to describe the Fairfield Police Department is unshakable. The Fairfield Resilience Program Officer talked to cop to cop explaining that he noticed the stress in his brother and sister officers and realized he had to do something to support them as they had been involved in a stress-related incident with a shooting on top of COVID at the same time. Together, the RPO officer and the cop to cop liaison coordinated a virtual critical incident stress debriefing to actually work through a conference call because we weren't able to meet face to face. I was honored to be joined by the cop to cop peers as we led this debriefing virtually, assisting officers involved in this alleged suicide by cop shooting while juggling the stress of the COVID-19 pandemic. During the virtual session, I was struck by the way the officers described the stress and isolation as they tried to manage their own health and well-being because of the pandemic and manage the trauma of the tragic shooting event. One word to describe the officers and the RPO from Fairfield PD is altruistic. They are the living version of the definition of the word altruistic, which is defined as unselfishly concerned for or devoted to the welfare of others. Although the officers were grateful, saying that myself and the cop to cop team's support was powerful and effective for them, I will never forget the sound of their voices between the silences as they described how they felt trying to serve and protect during chaos. We are forever grateful. In valor, there is hope. Give us cool heads, stout hearts, uncanny flair for investigation and wise judgment. My name is Julio Quinones, and I have worked in law enforcement for over 25 years. I'm a retired detective from the Essex County Prosecutor's Office, and I have worked in different units from narcotics to domestic violence. I am presently a peer support specialist for Cop to Cop. I would like to recognize Edgewater PD for the tireless work. One word to describe them is brotherhood. Their bravery and courage should not go unnoticed. The diligence of responding to different situations could be as going to domestic calls, helping children in the community. The officers adapt to work in various shifts, whereas they could go past their ending tour to assist fellow officers during a major incident. Their dedication to serve and protect is absolutely tremendous. I would like to express gratitude in describing about the officer's survival regarding a suicide. Back in June, 2020, officers responded to a parking lot of a domestic call. As they arrived, the individual had a gun and shot himself in the head. Officers witnessed the incident, and later they found out that he was a police officer. Cop to Cop conducted a critical incident stress management system with the officers. The participating officers were satisfied of receiving intervention. One officer remained connected and receives ongoing support from cop to cop. In valor, there is hope. Wisdom is knowing the path to take. Integrity is taking it by M.H. McKee. My name is Roy Diaz, and I'm a retired detective lieutenant from the Union County Prosecutor's Office with more than 31 years of law enforcement experience. 
I began my career as a New Jersey State Correctional Officer, and I worked at what's formerly known as Rawway State Prison. I joined the Union County Police Department as a police officer and worked in patrol. Eventually, I moved on to the Union County Prosecutor's Office, where I worked until I retired in March of 2007. I currently work as a peer support specialist for the Cop to Cop program, and I've been there since 2009. One weekend during off hours, a Passaic RPO called and needed my assistance. He was hoping that we assist his officers who have been impacted by a traumatic event. As we formulated a plan and after setting up a debriefing in the days to come, we were informed later that they had taken another course of actions. Three weeks had passed when I received another call from this RPO. He informed me that his officers were still showing negative signs related to the event. At that point, the debriefing with cop to cop was scheduled. Members of the department had attempted to save a juvenile from committing suicide. Officers had engaged in a dialogue with the juvenile until he suddenly jumped into the river. After many valiant attempts, they unfortunately were unable to save his life. The officers were severely impacted by this event on that day. Although three weeks had passed, the debriefing between the officers and cop to cop was intense and welcomed by the officers. As my partner and I drove home, we were contacted by the RPO and he gave us some feedback gathered from the participants. They expressed how much they appreciated the debriefing and they didn't know how much they needed to express themselves. They felt that the debriefing should be a standard operating procedure for their department. If it had not been for the RPO caring for his coworkers and the relationship that he and I have formed, these officers would have continued to suffer in silence. Good job, Manny, for the integrity and for being persistent and, and resilient in regards to the well-being of your officers. In valor, there is hope. Bravery is not the absence of fear, but action, the mastery of it. In the face of fear, 18th century writer, John Burridge. My name is Joseph Dorgo, and I worked in law enforcement for 26 years. I retired in 2000 as a North Police officer. I started working the following year as a mental health clinician at Cop to Cop. I want to recognize MRT, RPO, Erin Garman of the East Hand Police Department in Burlington County. She developed a wellness program for officers and spouses using Zoom meetings during the COVID crisis. Her goal was to help them reduce anxiety through meditation and relaxation techniques. She also arranged for local psychologists to be available to them for counseling support. Her ambition was endorsed by the Chief of Police and the program has been well received by officers. This RPO engages collaboratively with Cop the Cop and is willing to explore ideas to support her officers. She acts without fear and has a great deal of initiative. She is open to suggestions from me and we speak weekly to evaluate her progress and effectiveness. Because of her enthusiasm and action, she has, she has had great partner success. In valor, there is hope. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Matthew, verses 5.9. My name is Anthony Woodson, and I worked in law enforcement for 37 and a half years. I'm a retired deputy chief of police from the city of East Orange. I served four years in the United States Marine Corps and served one tour in the Republic of North Vietnam. I am presently a peer support specialist with Cop to Cop. I would like to recognize the Glen Ridge Police Chief and the men and women of the police department. The Glen Ridge Resiliency Officer Program requested a critical incident stress management debrief. Cop to Cop, peer support and clinician conducted a virtual SISM debriefing based on the trauma of one of their officers who suffered a heart attack after receiving the news 
he tested positive for COVID. The officer was resuscitated on scene by officers from his agency. The chief, superiors, and many officers were diagnosed with COVID, making the department overwhelmed by the pandemic. During our ongoing support and follow-up, Cop the Cop was notified that the officer passed away. The chief and several officers agreed to ongoing peer support to manage the grief. This tragic line of duty death was recognized by several police departments and the news media. The chief remained steadfast in resilience and leadership, even though her health, her family, and her officers were impacted with the worst nightmare coming true of losing her officer in the line of duty. In Valor, there is hope. One day at a time. My name is John Riley. I retired after 25 years as a corporal with the Springfield Police Department. I worked in community policing, crime prevention, DARE, and finished out my career assigned to the Union County Narcotics Strike Force. I am also a drummer with the Essex County Police and Fire Pipe Band and an executive board member of the Essex County Emerald Society and the National Conference of Law Enforcement Emerald Societies. You may know the Nationals from going to Police Week in May during the Police Memorial. We are responsible for the National Memorial March. My MRT, Resilience Police Officer, is from the New Jersey State Police and is known for getting things done. He credits a big part of his resiliency to his spirituality and faith. One of the most recent projects has been the reopening of the health center at division headquarters in Trenton, which had been neglected and in poor condition. His plans include renaming it as a wellness, resiliency, and recreation center for members and their families of the New Jersey State Police. He has even looked into getting his lifeguard certi certification so when, he, when they do open the pool, they will have a one less thing to worry about. I find this impressive because he has been doing this during a very trying time for everyone, especially officers having to leave their families and loved ones during the pandemic and civil unrest. He always finds the strength to get things done and serves as a model and leader who, who engages in regular peer support with the troopers and cop to cop, always offering to do more. I look up to him for everything he has been able to accomplish and for the, his vision for the future and the wellness of other. If I had to describe him, I would use two words, selfless devotion. In valor, there is hope. 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 In valor, there is hope.